let's do a famous stack challenge. Uh, let's do the balance parentheses challenge. So in the uh, balancing parentheses, uh, all that you want to do, is, we're going to do a very simple version at first where it's just parentheses. Uh, then we're going to do one where you match it with uh, curly braces and brackets as well. Let's start looking at it with just uh, parentheses. So what we want to do is we want to write uh, some sort of a function, which would be called is balanced, and it's going to take in a string of something like parentheses like this. So just this part is the string. And what we want to do is we want to iterate through the string and take the thing, the characters one letter at a time, and if they're a opening stack, uh, if they're an opening character, like a left parenthesis, we will push it on a stack. So the general idea is if uh, letter is opening, push on stack. Uh, if the letter is closing, then what we want to do is peek at stack. to see if there's an opening paren there. So really what this looks like is we would move through this string of opening parenthesis and opening parenthesis. And what that means is we have a stack and we are pushing a opening parenthesis there and an opening parenthesis there. And now if we are ever looking at a uh, closing parenthesis, what we want to do is we want to uh, peek at this and we want to see if these two things match. So if we have a closing parenthesis here, then we should have an opening parenthesis here. And if they do match, uh, then we should uh, pop it off so that uh, this parenthesis is no longer in the stack. And so that means that these two parentheses are balanced. So we had an opening parenthesis, which was matched with a closing parenthesis. So these two things are matched. And we're going to continue through the string and compare it to another parenthesis. So if we see another parenthesis here, uh, like this last one, we want to see if it's an opening, it's not opening parenthesis, so we don't push it. Instead, we see it's a closing parenthesis, so we look on top of the stack, and if they match, um, then we will pop it off the stack, which indicates that this closing parenthesis matched the opening parenthesis. And at the very end, of uh, this procedure, that thing is going to be popped off. Uh, we want to make sure that the stack is empty. So uh, we want to re eventually return uh, true or false, return true or false, depending on uh, the is empty of the stack. So notice that uh, if we had a string that looked like uh, this, if it was an opening parenthesis, an opening parenthesis, an opening parenthesis, and a closing, and a closing, if that was our whole string, uh, well, um, these two would match, and these two would have canceled each other out, but that would have left our stack looking like this with one parenthesis in it, and so that would mean that this is actually unbalanced. So generally your job is to uh, iterate through a string. So write a function called isBalanced where you iterate through a string and you should return true or false 
depending uh, on if the string that you have there is balanced or not. Uh, you can use uh, the built-in JavaScript array for this. So here I'm going to get the function started, is balanced. Here's a string. And you can totally uh, just use something like this because uh, the stack has options uh, like push and pop. Uh, and we'll say that uh, I, I don't think the JavaScript array has a, has a peak method, um, but you are allowed to look at uh, the stack by just saying, well, how about this? We'll just make another function here, function peak, uh, which takes a stack and we'll say it returns uh, the stack at stack dot length minus one. So if you're gonna use peak, uh, use this function like this. Uh, you could also use uh, either of the uh, stacks that we actually built. So we have these, these stacks that we actually built these classes ourselves. Um, you can use an array, you can use one of those stacks. Um, but just make sure that you are practicing using a stack. Good luck. Welcome back. So let's see how this works. So uh, what we want to do is we want to iterate through every letter of the string. If the letter is an opening paren, push it on the stack. If the letter is a closing paren, make sure it has a matching opening paren. So let's do the first part. How do we iterate through every letter of a string? Uh, one thing I see people do a lot is they convert a string to an array. Uh, that is actually not necessary uh, because a string actually has a care at method. So let's say let i equal zero i less than stir dot length, i plus plus. And now we can say, here's a letter, and we can say stir dot care at i. Uh, now we can say if the letter uh, equals a opening parenthesis, we simply want to say stack dot push that letter. We can say else if the letter equals a closing parenthesis. Well, what we want to do here is we want to make sure that there is a opening parenthesis on top of the stack. So we can do this. We can say, um, if uh, we peek at the stack, and if that comes back as a opening parenthesis, well then we can actually pop that parenthesis off of the stack. So they match and we can continue uh, totally fine. Um, if the stack does not have an opening parenthesis, uh, what we can do is uh, return an error because if we ever see a closing parenthesis without having a opening parenthesis there, um, that's absolutely an error. So we could just say uh, return false. Sorry, my caps lock is on. And If uh, we ever get through all of the letters, um, we do need to make sure that the uh, stack is not, uh, it, that it's actually empty at this point. So it, it's not enough to return just true here because uh, that would not satisfy a case where we had a string that had just an opening parenthesis. Uh, what we wanna do is we wanna return um, the stack dot length uh, should be zero. 
So that, that should mean that it, it, sh it should be totally empty. So now let's uh, try this function out. So let's try it out on some easy, uh, some easy ones. And now let's try it out on uh, some, some, some more difficult ones, or some ones where it should fail. So it should not be considered balanced if it's just an opening parenthesis. It should not be considered balanced if it's just a closing parenthesis. It should not be considered balanced if it is got some sort of an opposite thing here. And it should definitely not be considered balanced if uh, there is a uh, this this one uh, would have a parenthesis that is left unmatched, and this one would have a parenthesis that is overmatched. So let's see what happens here. So we get true, 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 false cases, false, 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 false. Fantastic. Now I just wanted to double check this. So if the letter is a closing parenthesis, I was trying to figure out what would happen if it was a closing parenthesis uh, for this case. Or rather, uh, this case. So if it's just a closing parenthesis, then we must not have anything on it. Uh, I think that we're getting this, this our, our peak method actually probably returns something undefined. So if, if we only had a, here, here's the case we're considering. Uh, the string is equal to just a single closing parenthesis. Well, the stack is going to be empty. And if we peek on the stack, I think what that means is this is going to try and access an array at negative one because the array length is going to be zero and it's going to return undefined. So that means undefined is not equal to this. And it's going to hit the else statement and return false. Uh, I think it might be let's let's just program this a little bit a little bit more explicitly. Let's let's just say explicitly if stack dot length equals zero, return false. The closing paren had no matching opening paren. Great. Uh, so this is a, a classic stack problem. Um, we can a stack just does a very good job of um, when we push things on top of it. It's just waiting for something that's at that top level to come and match it, and that's when it can pop it off.